welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a new type of video for my channel and that is the makeup basket and review segment. Basically two weeks ago I chose a whole bunch of items that I wanted to put into my everyday makeup basket and I can link that video below. I showed you all the products and I said after two weeks I'm gonna swap out the items or most of the items if there's something that I only have a few of I may just keep it in rotation but after two weeks, I'm going to go through and review all of those items. And so what I decided to do was every two weeks, I'm going to go over my favorites of the things that I chose. That way I'm not reiterating myself of all the things that I talked about, but I'm just talking about the things that I ended up rediscovering or that were new items that I'm realizing, wow, these are really great either for the color or the formula or whatever about them. So without further ado, let's get into my favorites of my everyday makeup basket. I'm just going to go through the items in the order of how I would put them on my face. So the first item that I have is the Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Under Makeup Primer by Laura Geller. And this was just a little sample that I got um, from when I went to Ulta a couple of months back. And I didn't use this a huge amount because I've been trying to use up one of the other primers, the Shine Control Primer from Neutrogena, but the few days that I did wear this, like, oh my god, it's like the best of both worlds. It totally mattifies, does a really good job of that, but then it's got this silicone-y slip to it, so it smooths everything out. It's so nice, like, now I can see why a whole bunch of people really like her primers because they're super nice. She has them for luminosity, for smoothing, for, you know, radiance, for mattifying. Um, I think she has one for like color correcting as well. This is such a nice product and I will continue to put this into my everyday makeup basket because this stuff is awesome. These past two weeks, I put in two concealers for under my eyes. The first one was the Pixie Correction Concentrate and Brightening Peach. And this one I've been using for a little while, but I had put it away for quite some time. And this was the first time in quite some time that I had taken it out. And I don't know why I put it away. I basically will just put this in the inner corners of my under eye and it's not heavy or cakey at all and it's just it's this really nice brightening color um i really like how this wore and then i would top it with my nyx hd concealer and i totally get why so many people love this stuff like this is so so nice um it's really nice for brightening and then it would cover it would cover the peachiness but it wouldn't take away any of the like under eye darkness coverage that it had and basically I would just sweep this out underneath here and then just set it with a powder. It's super, super nice. It just has a doe foot applicator. And yeah, it's really, really nice. I am super happy that I got my hands on this. So for cheek products these past two weeks, I have three favorites. Two of them are cream blushes and one of them is just a regular powder blush. So I'll first talk about the two cream blushes. The first one is Stila's Convertible Color. I can't open this. Yeah. Her Convertible Color in Magnolia, and this is just a really nice plum color. It looks kind of faded in the light right now, um, at least from what I can see on camera, but it's just a really nice dusty dark rose color. And this is so great. You can put, you can basically run your finger in the product and then just put it on your cheeks and then blend it out with like a stipple brush and it was never patchy. I would never have to worry about it like staining in one spot and not blending out like it's so so nice. And then the other cream blush that I have was Tarte's Muse and this is along the same color vein but it has some sheen to it whereas the Stila one is matte and it's just, you know, obviously in a different applicator. And this just worked in the same way. It blended out beautifully. It didn't go on patchy. And I like these so much so that when they were on Hope Look like a week or two ago, they had a set of four of these. And I went and purchased it for like 18 bucks because this is totally a usable or like I can definitely use these up in a reasonable manner. And I really love the formula of these. So. These were total win-wins as products. I'm, I may keep one or the other in for the next two weeks, um, 
but even so I had a blast using them. And then the other blush product that I have is a powder blush and that is Tarte's Prim. And this, as you can see, is just a nice neutral blush and it just, it went on top of the two cream blushes super nice and it gave a really nice like pop of pink to those because those are so much more like muted it would just lay on top of it very very well so I was really happy with the blushes that I had this week or the past two weeks. I had three eyeshadow palettes that I chose and my standout was the NYX Natural palette and I know that some people don't like NYX's shadows but I think that they're a great formula. This one was already used up but this one I used and I had like I think I don't even know if I had pan on this but as you can see just after two weeks I mean these aren't super powdery shadows but I've used up quite a bit of that and I'm really excited about that and then these I would just use either like all over the lid or these I would use in the crease or the outer V like they just made this really nice neutral look if I really didn't want to do anything super intense so it was just a nice go-to neutral palette for me and then I'm sure that you guys noticed that I didn't actually choose any lip products um, to focus on just because I have been doing projects with lip products for like the past several months and I just wanted to give myself free reign of any lipsticks that I owned but I pretty much put on a new lipstick every other day or every two days so I have three standouts for the week. The first one is ColourPop's Lippy To Go. It's just basically a lippy stick and a lippy pencil in the color Brink. And this is actually what I have on my lips now. So as you can see, it just has like a little sample size of the color. But here, I'll show you the actual lippy stick. And it's just this really nice nude toned peachy shade. And I really hadn't tried these up until um, this week and they're super nice. They're like five bucks a pop and I'm gonna have to restrain myself from getting more of them because they're super nice. The next lipstick that I decided to try out this week was the Makeup Forever uh, Artist the Rouge Artist Natural. Um, this is just a sample size. And this just has, it looks really dark, but it's just a really nice sheer balmy color. And this was really nice for when my lips were feeling extra dry these past two weeks. I could just throw this on, still have some color, and it was really, really comfy. So this was a really nice surprise to find in my collection. And the last lipstick that I really enjoyed these past two weeks, which I believe I wore in my VIB haul video which should be posted already. I I think it was that one but basically it's called Party Pink. It's by Maybelline and it's just this super pretty um like rosy berry color. So so nice and it was so nice just to wear a pop of color when I've been wearing so many nude lipsticks recently. So this formula and this shade were a total win for me. So that is my first ever Make a Basket and Review video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching, especially if you made it this far. Let me know what you thought and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!